Michael, I think the main question that people have been wanting to hear from you was to hear more about the Trump in the election. I think you had mentioned something in your private network, the RZ network, Radio Zone network, that um, that Trump would more than likely be a forerunner winner of the United States election. That's true. I have said that. I've written it. I've explained it in detail, the mathematics, what is behind Trump. First of all, you have to understand he's a brilliant man. He's a genius, right? He came from Wharton School of Finance. I believe his IQ is 160 or more, 169. I don't know the details. Anyway, people have a very um, fuzzy, unclear idea of the man. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's got about 800 delegates so far. We're in April. He's going to win um, New York, California, New Jersey. Essentially, he is the nominee. Now, we're aware that the others are trying to steal that nomination. The reason they want to do that is because they know he's going to win against Clinton very handily, easily, when he gets there. So that is what the story of the stealing of the election in Cleveland is about. And from what I'm being told, this will not happen. At least if Trump has close to the delegate numbers that he's supposed to have, he and his people and all the people who have voted, that is, look at this as a mandate and they will defend the mandate of course and then I would assume when he has a nomination the rest is really easy because after 50 years of what went down in America since JFK it's time now for this wild card to come in he will audit the Federal Reserve he'll do a number of things that are in the interest of both America and the world the economy at large and so we're living a historic big historic moment really the first time since Kennedy that I can remember, I'm 57 now, that we have something of this magnitude and that's something that the American friends and partners of ours, first of all, and of course the others around the world should look at and realize that they need to be intelligent to see through the media distortion and the disinformation, etc. So yes, the astrology for Trump looks very good and I also believe that we have a big change coming in the next two to four years that I talked about in my last video simply due to the overall astrology. So with Neptune in Pisces being um, the major planet, like the king figure on a chessboard, and all the other alignments, Jupiter, Pluto, Uranus, etc., everything that works around this Neptune construction is pointing us to a shared prosperity, to a new economy, to a complete paradigm change about everything, how we do govern ourselves, how we think about what's going on in the world, how we find progress, how we go into new technologies, new science, all these things. This is ripe, this is now due. It should have actually happened in 2010-12 when Fukushima happened. There's a delay, a drag of about six years now. We're now in the middle of 2016 and I'm saying 17, 18, 19, we are going to see paradigm change of the really massive proportions. And yes, I think that Trump has a part in this.